So a lot has happened between the last episode up to right now, so I'm going to run through it real quick. Pretty much the world started to end. We've all started shiting ourselves and buying a load of toilet roll whilst being forced to sing happy birthday while we wash our hands. I now have to finish my second year of university at home, so I'm not actually going to be in university for the next seven months. I backed out of my show and then my show got cancelled. But you know what? We're going to do what we can do. We're going to continue on the journey to self-improvement and we're going to have a great fucking time. day sesh yesterday for some Paddy's day. Pretty much all the bars are closed right now so we, we just got a wee bit pitched in the house. Best thing about a day sesh is if you do it right, ideally you'll be in your bed for about half five and you wake up the next morning feeling great. And that's exactly what we've done. With the whole coronavirus thing going on, nobody really knows what to do with themselves so during this video I'm going to touch on a couple of my tips that could make things a wee bit more bearable for you during this current pandemic. About a week ago, nobody would have seen this happening, especially to the extent that it's got to. It seems like the entire world has just hit a big pause button, and that can be quite difficult to interpret into your own life, so... Get out wee dander. There's about three people on this beach, you don't see any of them coughing on me. And if they do, you best believe they'll be getting a left right good night by yours truly, get on. But uh, the whole thing with this coronavirus is uh, going into like confined spaces, being like two meters around people generally have them breathing on you and stuff like that you don't see that happening out here we're on a beach so there's no excuse to neglect your activity levels but uh yeah just get outside get some vitamin d because there's no reason not to that was great i enjoyed that walk i was listening to a couple of podcasts i had bridging the gap by uh josh bridgman and then i had one with Eric Helms as well. I always like listening to a podcast while like, going on a walk or something like that. You just feel a lot more productive. Kind of kill two birds with one stone and you always learn something along the way. While we're in this state of who knows what the fuck is going on, there's no reason to let your diet go out the window, especially from a micronutrient kind of standpoint and an overall body composition standpoint. Since we might be spending more time just around the house and being less active outside. You don't just want to let your diet go out the window because if you've been working hard all year and driving yourself towards your fitness goals, there's no reason to let it slip now. We have the tools right now to damage control things. So that might even mean eating around maintenance calories for a while, increasing your energy expenditure wherever you can and getting in the most nutrient dense foods that are available to you. I know the supermarkets are get pretty mad and like there's basically very slim options in terms of food but work with what's there, work with what you've got and keep on track with things. So it was the next day, I hopped into Body Works with my good friend Jack for what we didn't realise would be our final session. I'm grateful that I record and capture moments like these because if this coronavirus pandemic has taught us anything, it's that you never know when it's going to be the last time that you have your final gym session, walk into your uni flat for the last time, or spend time with your family, your mates, or even your girlfriend. Not forever, but just for now. Which leads me on to the next part of this video when things started to get a lot more serious. From this evening, I must give the British people a very simple instruction. You must stay at home. If you don't follow the rules, the police will have the powers to enforce them. Day number four of quarantine. Um, I'm out for my first uh, form of exercise of the day. Barely been training lately. Just had to say bye to Victoria for the foreseeable future. Until never really makes things much easier, to be honest. Um, especially just knowing that you've got all of this ahead of you. And it's just scary. It's, it's mad how much this has escalated and changed mine and everybody's lives around me, all over the world. As much as you'd think sitting about the house all day, like, you wish you could do something. Constant anxiety, constant worrying. And it's, uh, it's just, it's not fun. So, I'm gonna finish this walk. It's a bit dark to walk the beach, so I might walk around Port Rush. Port Rush is absolutely dead right now. 
I walked past a couple of people, and even then, you you bounce to the other side of the road just because you never know. It's it's mad. So I spent a few days feeling sorry for myself. I think the whole initial shock of the thing kind of hit me hard, and I went to sleep most nights, crawling up into a ball and pretending I was a car, which led me to lose my head mentally. <laughs> Followed by that, I decided I was going to lose my head physically. Day number six of quarantine, decided I'm going to shave my head. So I shaved my head. And then I reminded myself, Gary, life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. So I picked myself right the fuck back up immersed myself into training and we made a home gym hi you hope you're good shave my head it's pretty cool also made a home gym and this place is looking pretty freaking sick man i'm gonna run you through it this used to be a garage as of yesterday this was a garage but as of yesterday night this was a home gym currently doing a push workout i haven't actually decided whether i'm going to do push or upper body but I'll run you through this wee bench press set up here. This is actually the bench that I initially started training on years ago. All these weights are pretty much my starting point for training altogether. Because, sob story, I was too shy to go to the gym. So I trained at home until I got a relatively decent foundation. And then, here we are. So, we're right back to square one. This is a bit more of an advanced setup than square one. Uh, I've got a couple more weights than I used to kind of use um, But anyway, so we've got the resistance band around there. This is just one of the D handle ones um, It's it's pretty standardized um, So I've got it hooked right around there that is going to add a lot more resistance to the lift as a whole Especially at that top portion. So as we press up it starts to become a lot harder and uh, Can really kind of help with that lockout on the bench <laughs> This is just a tool really used for, especially if you can't find any more weights. I know on Amazon and eBay and everything, basically everything's everything sold out because everyone's in the same boat. So resistance bands are really where we can get that similar kind of resistance without actually having to spend a fortune on get weights and stuff like that. So say if you get a couple, a couple of plates or whatever, even a barbell, whatever you've got, add a resistance band to it and it's gonna help increase that overall load. We've got the skateboard over there. I'm trying not to go on that because I know hospitals are kind of full right now and if I break my neck, that's not gonna be ideal. Got another bench there. I kind of just use it to store my weights on right now because I don't think my shoulder is gonna fit in that. Can't really see it on camera, but it's very, very narrow. Then this is the main dog right here, barbell dumbbells we've got a stepper there i actually use it for split squats and things like that my weight belt down there a couple more plates resistance band we've got an erg we've got a cross trainer and we've got some rafters and stuff up here not as sure yet if those rafters are going to be able to hold my weight but i'm sure i'm going to find that out in the next couple of weeks i'm considering getting a like a pulley system up there depending on whether it can hold a fair amount of weight or whatever my main goal over the next couple of weeks during this quarantine and things is to cut out this gym completely because that would be cool. It's kind of like, it's ideal to have a wee project to work on, especially in your own home. It helps time pass by, you feel like you're making progress, you can be productive and we can make some gains. <laughs> My main dilemma whenever I started kind of home training was actually just retaining muscle but I'm actually starting to feel like we could make some considerable gains with this and the goal is almost switched from retaining muscle to can I gain muscle during this process which is kind of mad so we're going to use the tools that we've got we're going to see how far we can progress and really make the most out of these slow eccentrics 
controlling the movement, getting full range of motion and increasing volume as the weeks go on. So this is quite exciting. So just wrapped up that workout there that actually went pretty well um i was training for about two hours there which is about double the time i normally train given that we had to implement a lot more volume because we just didn't have that necessary load for the stimulus that i'm kind of after um so yeah i don't even mind that because in this whole quarantine thing nobody really has too much to do on their schedule so yeah i'd rather spend that extra time getting an adequate amount of volume to provide a uh, decent enough stimulus. Um, so yeah, I've just wrapped that up now. I'm probably gonna go in now and get a meal. Then I'm gonna go for a run. I swear this quarantine thing is actually, it's bringing out a very good side of me and I'm, I'm very happy with it. Apparently 300 people have died in the UK today. So things are starting to get pretty scary. I was kind of just thinking about that during the whole thing and it kind of helped me get into a certain state of mind as a, uh, brew as that sounds but um the whole thing is it's scary as fuck so what can we do my advice is just don't don't leave the house even like don't leave the house unnecessarily spend as much time away from people as you can this thing is only temporary so you can suck it up and you can get through it in the meantime because there are a lot of lives on the line and it's really not worth the risk so play your part as a human being and yeah just be smart <laughs>